Hello, welcome to another leaf map tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plot a large number of uh, points with a few lines of code, and it's uh, very fast. So this is what it looks like. You can plot, for example, all the cities around the globe. When you have your mouse, you're going to, have to highlight the color. Low right corner here, you can also see the pop up basically shows you all the attributes. And this can be done just essentially with a few lines of code. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me show you where to get a notebook. If you go to the uh, leaf map uh, repository on GitHub, you should be able to uh, find it under the docs and then notebooks. Scroll down to find number 104.style.ipymb. So this is a notebook that I just added a couple minutes ago. And if you want to try it out, you can right click here to open in Google Collect and then you can uncomment this one to install the packages. Then you should be able to run through the noble examples. I already have this one on my local computer. So I already have a Jupyter Lab and also LeapMap uh, installed. And I'm going to show you how to do that first. You need to import the library. You can just import a LeapMap. Uh, you don't need to use from this map to uh, import this map this is just for building the documentation website so that you use the ipy uh, leaflet uh, plotting backend after that you can point to any geojson data that you have it can be a geojson file on a local computer or it can also be a file on the internet available through http url and then you can just run this so next uh, let's create a map and one very important thing here is to specify the point style so the point style basically means how you want the point uh, to look like you can set the radius so basically the size of the points and also what kind of color so this color will be the outline color field opacity is what you want to feel and also uh, the field color also the weight basically the thickness of the the outline you can also specify the hover style means when you hover your mouse on the point it's going to change the color so that's it so all you need to just specify these two and then you can just call the map.geojson function you can pass in the uil or the file pass to your geojson file then specify these two parameters also you can give a, a layer name and that's it so let's run it it should be pretty quick and uh, so this one has, has a lot of points when you have your mouse you will see on the right here you should show you the pop-up also this is where you can control the hover style so when we hover uh, the point it's going to change to yellow color for example here right pretty cool you can also change the opacity for example and change it to maybe red color uh, lowercase or it can be any um for example um rgb so six digits you'll be red will be ff0000 you can also change the field opacity so one means it's fully opaque if you just want half transparent, for example, you can 0.5, something like this, and run it again. You see the point is created very quickly. And when you have your mouse, right now it's red color. So pretty performance. You can also click this one to load it if it's taking too much space. Right now it will just show you this. So when you have your mouse, you want to show this one. But you can also change it. So for example, if you only want to see that when you click um, on the point, you can change to on um info more equal to on click so in this way it doesn't show you when you have your mouse but when you click it's going to pop up right so it depends on which way you want uh, sometimes if it is moving too fast you don't want it so it when you have your mouse then you use this way again you can um, um hide this one so how did it uh shows you for example one two three four five six Essentially, it's a six lines of code, and you, you can customize to whatever uh, way you want. Similarly, you can also load Geo uh, Data Frame. So, in this case, we want to use a uh, Geo Data Frame, uh, Geo Pandas, and Geo Pandas can read a lot of vector data from it. So, all we need is, for example, we are going to read the Geo JSON file, but we use Geo Pandas to convert it into a Geo Data Frame, and everything else remains the same. But right now, we're using the map.8gtf function. So in this way, you can read any vector data format supported by GeoPandas. For example, uh, GeoJSON, ShapeFi, GeoPackage, um, um, any other Geo, uh, or GeoPackage, for example. 
and it's the same thing so this function is very powerful one line of code you can uh, basically just add gdf to add any points data of course you also support um lines and polygon but the point because it has this point style so it's quite powerful it's uh, very fast again the same thing here lastly i want to show you an example that you can do like random because um here we can generate some random data using um, geopandas and also the random module so what we want is to generate random points around the globe right so the latency will be neg between negative 90 to positive 90 and the uh, longitude will be between negative 8 180 to positive 180 so basically just generate a random number of random points you can specify how many points do you want it's going to generate um, basically two columns with latitude and also longitude in here we specify just um, 1000 random points and then use this to convert uh, to generate the points and then put it save as a pandas data frame also you can add some uh, attributes for example you, uh, if you need some additional information for each point right now just using a random and after that we can convert the uh, pandas data frame to geo data frame by providing data frame and then specify the geometry the geometry goes to be point from x y so from the longitude the latitude and also specify the ci so in right now we have this random geo data frame and then create a map after that we are doing the same thing just map dot gdf that's it specify the harbor style and also the point style and then after that we join uh, the map you see it's super quick less than one second so we have 1000 points again if you have your mouse on the lower right corner you should be able to see the latitude, longitude, latitude, and also the basically the attribute, whatever attribute at. So when you have a mouse, you're going to uh, change the color, uh, how quick it is. And like I said, this it can be many, many points. So I can change to maybe 10,000 points. It's still pretty quick. It's only like less than one second. It's very fast. If you're using a traditional way without using the point style, it's going to be pretty slow. So that's why we recommend if you have a large number of points, you might want to use this one instead of the default markers. So I can show you if you use the markers, for example, this do just 1000 points. And then if you don't provide this point style by default, it's going to be just a marker. So if I comment this one out and run this one, and when you zoom in and zoom out, it's a little bit laggy because the points is too much. And also the when you click your points, it actually the pop up doesn't really work. If you change to ten thousand points, this is going to be very very slow. So, uh, not recommended unless you really want the marker and you only have a couple number of points, then it's fine. So I would highly recommend using this way. All right. When you zoom in, zoom out, you see here it's a lot more smooth, and you can change to ten thousand points or one hundred thousand points. It should still be pretty quick, right? So this is ten thousand points. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can uh, drag through that, it's pretty easy. And so let me change to maybe uh, 10,000 points. And just run it. Oh, 100,000 points. So this is going to be, oops, it's probably too much. So, but it still works. If you zoom in, zoom out, uh, this right now becomes a little, uh, little bit laggy. But if you're trying to do this using the pure iPad widget, it's going to be super slow, but it's decent, right? 1,000, 10,000 points is pretty, still pretty fast. Okay, so that's all for this uh, tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Now you can use that to plot whatever number of points. It can be cities, it can be uh, buildings, points, yeah, same choice, uh, population, anything you want, and super fast, just a couple of nice code. Okay, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.